Right here, I'm going to um, now take off the stepper motor, take these two blocks off and it, just show you carefully um, what this all consists of, just so that it's easy enough to reproduce it. Um, before I do anything, you can turn the uh, Lovejoy Connect around by hand, no problem. And if I undo it, when I'm ready to take this off here, that will um, then come off quite easily. And there's just four screws holding it here. And that's just as it comes supplied by the manufacturer. And I think this from memory is a 10 millimeter. Yeah, 10, 10 millimeter spigot on here or shaft. So the Lovejoy connector, um, you can drill them out um, at, or bore them out. It's better than drilling them, um, and that's what I've done. Um, and you can fit any size. You can buy them the different sizes on the internet or you can um, buy a smaller size and bore it out. Now I tur turned that on quite hard when I put it in. This is the shaft of the um, lathe as it was. I haven't made any changes to this screw at all. I did make up, obviously, uh, the nut. You can either make the nut up or buy one. And they need to be fairly, fairly short, the nuts. So you can either turn them and thread them or buy one on the internet and um, uh, cut it in half or slightly less than half. That is, in my case here, um, four and a half millimetres deep. Um, and this thread on here Twelve millimeter. Now the next thing to do is to take off these bolts. I should really have all this pinned together um, because the position of this moves around a little bit. Um, but I show you when I put it together how I get round that problem. But I, one of these days I will drill, pre-drill some holes here um, to take pins and then I can get it back together easily and without having to fiddle around with it. Um, and before I finish this I'll just check the length of these screws. And that's a 40 mil um, thread, and that's 40 mil, and these are M8 bolts with quite small heads on those, which are quite useful. Um, and this is again an, an M8, 
I had to turn the head down because it was a bit too big. Um, and this is a total of uh, 50 millimeter thread. Um, these are 14 millimeter uh, M4s. And this is the other side of the Lovejoy coupling and I've cut a thread on the inside of the Lovejoy coupling which enables me to, to use it as a tightening up without um, taking up too much room. So I take this off. That's the bearing that reduces, that stops end float. So the whole bearing is locked tightly on this and it's got two opposing um, angular contact bearings in here so that is absolutely locked solid about that. Uh, this is a short collar which is 9.6 millimeters long 16 millimeter diameter on the outside and 12 millimeters or just over on the inside and that's what is on the inside of this block the um, the the angular contact bearing sits in there snugly against the back a little bit of swarf in there I don't know where that came from anyway um, that bearing sits snugly into here let's put it back in again so you can see it's not a tight fit, it's just a, a nice fit. Um, it's a bit difficult to describe it, and the same on this dimension. So when I put this into here, it exactly fills this up so that it's nipped in there. And then on the other side of it, there's a little collar and this collar is 6.6 .6 millimeters and it goes through this plate so on the back of this plate these holes go on this particular plate here go right the way through except these two here which take the two pins on the top to stop this bar rotating. The bearing is a 5201Z and um, it is Twelve millimeter bore. The outer diameter is thirty two and the depth is sixteen. I'm about to take off the motor from the top of the Z-axis and it means I'm doing the three screws on this top plate which I added um, and then I'm doing the Lovejoy connector at the top and hopefully this should be fairly straightforward but we'll see
that's uh, three screws out. Now loosen off the love joy connector. That's the underside and you can see the three securing screws that go through to these standoffs which I made up. And these standoffs I made from mild steel but I probably could get away with something less strong. Those are 70 millimeters long. And And twelve and a half, well, half inch. I used for that. Now, <clears throat> sitting on top of this, I'll just move the camera up so you can see. There are two screws here, and those two screws, those two screws there and there, go down into this rod here and secure this plate in place. <clears throat> so I think what I shall do now is I'll drop the head down as low as I can and then unscrew this um, right out of the connection in the back here. There's a a, um, a brass nut buried, buried inside here down at the bottom right down here there's a brass nut and it's about an mm, inch and a half long and uh, I need to, to drop this down as low as I can and then thread that off from the top after I've locked the column in place Right, now I've dropped the head of the mill right down almost to the bottom. I haven't quite got it out of the threads because I don't think I'll need to. But there it is, almost at the bottom. And then this spacer comes off there. I took out obviously the two screws that secured it in place. And they're very long screws here and they go through this block and then into that. Like that. And that's the original method of fixing um, and all I've done is I've, it was originally secured through two holes, two bolts here and all I've done is I've taken the bolts further up and run them down with the same thread but slightly longer. Now if I wind this up now I'll just lock this in place in case it does drop down but I don't think it will right now. So if I wind this up for a moment this is all the original fittings. I haven't done anything to this physically. So this is all as it was supplied originally by the manufacturers. And there's that with the ball race and everything in the top there. I haven't changed that. Um, so that in fact even and the collar and so on all the same except I've added the Lovejoy coupling on the top. And I'll just take that off so you can see what the fixing arrangement is at the top. Oh, I would if I could, could unscrew it. Um, I think from memory there's a thread on the top here, the same as there was on the other axis. So all I've done is I've screwed that down until it reached uh, this collar and tightened it up and then screwed this down onto the collar and then tightened that up.
and that's worked perfectly. There's not a problem with that. So as I say, no altering of the machining of this part of it at all. So I'll just take some dimensions and make up plans and uh, then I'll put it back together again. <laughs>